Hello, today we are going to be taking a look at my recent purchase, which is a special 24 volt DC saucepan that I purchased for my solar installation, and that's because I've got a 24 volt DC emergency power that I harvest from sun, but it was intended to be used by truckers or by campers. You can basically use it in your RV and you do not need inverter because it run from 24 volt DC. Let's take a look at the specification. So you can see that this is going to be almost two liters. So it is going to be a pretty beefy item. We've got 250 watts, which is pretty okay on 24 volt system because that's going to be like that roughly 10 amp and we are going to get a normal glass lid so it's going to be looking like a regular kitchenware that you might have in your home and let's take a look we've got 160 centimeter cord we've got non-stick surface and this is how it's presenting can we see anything interesting here We've got more specification and yes, I was close because we can see that we've got like a 10 amp of current. So yeah, let's do the unboxing. For our field operation, we can of course power it from like a military battery and this is what we are going to be, to be testing. So let's take a look what we've got inside. It is really self-explaining, but you are welcome to pause and take a look at the user manual. Something that I really enjoy, we've got a normal, a regular glass lid, and that's because this is not something that I'm planning to take out into hiking. This is something that I would like to have at home and use with my solar installation. So here we've got our cigarette lighter plug that in my personal opinion looks horrible and I will definitely swap it for something better. We've got 20 amp fuse on wire which is fine. And this is how it's presenting. We've got those beautiful feet so it's going to be nicely standing. We've got our handle and yes it is a beefy pan. This is not something that you can easily put into your like a backpack and for a hike. But for stationary application, in my personal opinion, that looks absolutely beautiful and we are going to give it a try. We are going to be testing and power it from my military battery, the BB2590. And this specialized connector we are going to be adapting into a regular cigarette lighter. So this is what we do. We can plug it here and in that spot we can just throw it in. But prior to doing that, we definitely need to put some kind of food. I feel I deserve a beautiful meal. So this is what we are going to be eating. Just take a look how beautiful they are presenting. And as you can see, we've got a lot of spare room. So you can definitely feel like a, at least two or three person. And we are going to be adding some water. Just take a look. In my personal opinion, that looks amazing. And from technical point of view, to make it cook faster, we can close the lid. And now we need a stopwatch because we would like to count our time. Just for you, I created this beautiful test setup. We've got the vintage iPad for tracking time. We've got possibility to observe capacity of our battery and also I've got the second one just in case it's not going to be enough but I'm pretty sure it will done it without any problem and we've got our sausage and we are ready to power it on so let's take a look let's hit the start on the time and let's see currently it is cold we have to wait and let's put the lid on.
as you can see the 10 minute mark passed and let's take a look what's going inside and as you can see we start to getting a steam you can see the steam and i will not risk my finger going in because it is crazy hot so i will leave like a 10 minute more and i'm pretty sure we are going to be done so let's give it a try As you can see we passed the 20 minute mark and it is boiling really aggressively let's take a look what we've got yeah this is boiling really nice and i believe we can give it like a five more minute and it's going to be ready for consumption so just give it a five minute more As you can see I prepare our plate and disconnect it from battery. If you take a look at the display we've got still two bars left and if you take a look at the rating that battery is 225 watt hour and that's making sense because we are most likely pushing more power than the rated 220 watts and that's because because it is a lithium ion we've got the higher voltage that on your regular 24 volt system and let's take a look how it's presenting and as you can see we've got a nice steam so this is a great and our sausage looks beautiful we can try to put our fork and this is what we've got so let's put it into our plate let's cut it in half and see will it looks good and will it taste good? It tastes absolutely amazing. From technical point of view, if you would be curious, we are cooking it using my son. And that's because my military batteries are being recharged from 24 volt system. You can see the soldier portable charger that i've got attached to 24 volt cable and you can check it on my other videos but as you can see we've got a lot of room left so that single battery could definitely cook meal for like at least three person at least so in my personal opinion we've got a really cool setup so thank you very much for watching i hope you find it interesting see you next time and bye-bye.